Hi, hope you're having a great day. Today I want to talk about this inexpensive vegetable that can literally, literally change your life when it comes to blood pressure, when it comes to circulation of your blood, when it comes to your energy levels, when it comes to your stamina, when it comes to your sexual health. It's fantastic, this inexpensive vegetable that nature has given us. Now, we've done a video on this before talking about the health benefit of beetroot. We've spoken about how beetroot can increase your energy and stamina during your workout. But today we're going to go a little bit into detail. And as you can see, I have my own beetroot juice. And no, this isn't fresh beetroot, which I juiced in the morning and I'm having it a couple of hours later. Okay, because what happens is if you tend to juice your vegetables and juice your fruits and then carry it with you to work or carry it with you to the gym and not consume it within an hour, basically, you know, most of the nutrients, the vitamins and minerals get denatured, they get oxidized and that's why we prefer to eat fresh vegetables and fresh fruits without keeping them for too long. But today we're going to talk about beetroot and its effect on high blood pressure, on circulation, on your energy, on your stamina, on people who have extreme fatigue throughout the day. For people who are on a caffeine high all the time, and I mean caffeine high, you need like more than two or three cups of coffee through the day to keep you going. You see, if you need more than three to four cups of coffee in a day to keep you going, that's false energy in the human body. That's not your real cellular energy that you use, okay? You can enjoy a cup, you can enjoy two cups of coffee because you truly enjoy it. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you find yourself on several cups of tea and coffee, that means caffeine is your source of energy. And that's not a permanent source of energy. It comes with its side effects of a crash. And it comes with its side effects of more cravings and just an unequal distribution of energy in your cells. What we want to operate on as human beings is cellular energy. We want to have that conversion of energy into ATP, which is your adenosine triphosphate. That is what gives us real energy to wake up in the morning, go through our day, do, do our workouts, perform all our tasks and duties without having to be heavily dependent on caffeine. And today we're going to understand how beetroot does that. Okay, so let's first talk about nitrates. Beetroot is rich in nitrates. Nitrates is a natural vasodilator. Now, what do I mean by a vasodilator? That means it dilates your blood vessels. We did a whole video on the importance of healthy blood vessels in the human body for your heart, for the prevention of cancer, for your immunity, for the healing of cancer, even for diabetes and every single thing in your body because everything gets controlled in the human body with the circulation of blood. So if you have the right blood vessel health, everything works the right way. If your blood vessels don't function the right way, Okay, you have all the other problems, you know, that demand medical attention. So nitrates basically dilate your vessels. Now, when you dilate, when you dilate your vessels, you allow blood to flow through more easily, which means your blood pressure can come down. It can come down. A lot of your blood pressure medication that you take works unnaturally, synthetically, to basically create an effect of vasodilation in the human body. But here you have something in nature, which is literally inexpensive, and all of us can include it in our diet. Now, diabetics might be thinking, oh, it's a high sugar vegetable. We need to understand that when you have diabetes, it is not just about your glycemic index, it's about your glycemic load. You have to look at your total glycemic load more than your glycemic index to really control and reverse your type two diabetes. So what happens is, since this is a vasodilator, it also works great for sexual health. I can't tell you the amount of emails that we get every single day with men and women who are suffering from sexual health problems. And this is something that we need to talk about openly. We need to understand that men who go through erectile dysfunction, okay, it is a, it is a problem. A lot of it is psychosomatic. A lot of it is also due to simple circulation. It comes down to circulation of blood to your reproductive and your sex organs. When it comes to a woman, it requires the right amount of circulation and blood flow to the clitoris. So we need to understand that when you have your blood vessels working the right way, when you have the right amount of vasodilators, which can be exercise for some, and some it could be B, you know, nitrates from beetroot, it improves your total blood circulation. And that is what improves several functions that can be going wrong in the human body just because you don't have the right amount of circulation. Now, when you check your homocysteine levels, a lot of doctors ask you to check your homocysteine levels today. It's in most of your common panel tests of uh, uh, reports and tests, and it's a good thing because your homocysteine is a biomarker for your heart health. 
people who have high homocysteine levels are in danger of having or at the risk of having heart problems, which is why your doctors will work with you aggressively to get your homocysteine levels down. Now, we need to understand that beetroots contain something called betaine. And homocysteine gets converted into methionine with betaine. So technically, consuming beetroots or beetroot juice also helps you to lower your homocysteine levels naturally. Another thing that causes high homocysteine levels is low B12 levels. So if you have low B12 levels, sometimes by just upping your B12 levels with the right amount of prescribed folic acid can also bring down your homocysteine levels automatically. So you see, sometimes in life, everything doesn't just require a medication or a pill. It requires a balance of vitamins and minerals and the right kind of nitrates in the human body. Blood sugar levels, we're seeing, we're seeing people who are trying to reverse their type 2 diabetes use beetroot as a way of lowering their blood sugar, sugar levels. You see, people look at a glass of carrot juice and they say, oh, that's full of sugar. Or a, 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 you know, a glass of beetroot juice and they say it's full of sugar. Like I said, it's not about your glycemic index, it's about your glycemic load. Like for example, watermelon is a high sugar fruit. Okay, it is high on the glycemic index chart, but very low on the glycemic load chart, which means that if it's properly planned, yes, a diabetic can consume carrots, they can consume beetroot, they can consume watermelon. And all these fruits have a lot of enzymes, vitamins, and minerals that in turn improve the health of the pancreas, which will in turn, in turn address the root cause of your high sugar levels. Beetroots are also super, super rich in antioxidants. And that's why this becomes a prominent treatment in most of our patients who finish chemotherapy and radiation. Because post the treatment, you wanna make sure that the patient has a lot of natural antioxidants to basically combat the effect of all the free radicals that are now in the body that causes oxidation and that causes more problems in the system. So an antioxidant basically neutralizes a free radical and all of us today are exposed to pollution, heavy metals, contamination in food, pesticides, sedentary lifestyles, all of these things, you know, increase our free radicals, including our cooking oil. The refined oil is one of the main reasons why we have more free radicals in our body, which is why we need more antioxidants. And you can get it in this simple, inexpensive vegetable. Okay, the nitrates in beetroot and the health benefits of beetroot also go a long way in healthy blood clotting. Healthy blood clotting is required for all of us, especially people who are going through surgery and post recovery of surgery. It's also rich in fiber, folates, which is your folic acid, magnesium, which a lot of people are deficient in. When you're deficient in magnesium, your muscles pain. You wake up with cramps in your calf, no matter how well you're eating and how well you're exercising. You wake up in the morning with the stiffness in your calves. A lot of senior citizens and the elderly people wake up with this. And sometimes all you need to do is balance your magnesium and the cramps just disappear completely. Magnesium also helps you sleep well at night. And beetroot is also rich in potassium, zinc, and iron. So you see in this one little vegetable, you're getting so much of nature and so, much, so many of the elements that the human body requires. Another thing, since we're on the topic of the elderly, this is not just for the elderly, it's for us as well. Since beetroot works as a vasodilator, okay, what happens is it supplies blood and it brushes blood to the frontal lobe of the brain. So this actually helps you with your cognitive health. This helps you with degenerative brain disorders like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, uh, dementia. It is very important to have that blood flow to the frontal lobe of the brain because it can actually improve your cognitive function. So now, uh, you know, we spoke about adding pink salt to your water and pink salt and lemon to your water as a great pre-workout drink. When you have beetroot juice, I can promise you all the people who are doing caffeine to get that high and lift heavier weights, you should switch over to beetroot juice and I can promise you better energy, which is real cellular energy. Now, how's that energy gonna be formed? Because it's gonna dilate your blood vessels, rush blood to your muscles, and because you have more blood rushing to your muscles, instead of caffeine, which is giving you a false sense of energy, you're gonna be able to work out harder. You're gonna be able to work out more intensely, which means you can build more muscle mass, which means you can lose more fat. It's as simple as that. How productive can your workouts get? Now. The question that most people have is, it's gonna be impossible to juice beetroots and carry it wherever you go. So we've been researching on dehydrated beetroot powder. It's available everywhere. You wanna get a really good organic beetroot powder. It's dehydrated. The vitamins and minerals surprisingly stay intact, including the fiber, the magnesium, the folic acid, it stays intact. 
in dehydrated fruit powder, a vegetable powder. So all I've done is taken two teaspoons of beetroot powder. I've tried to get an organic version because, you know, we don't want to do something which is sprayed with pesticides as far as we can. And I've been looking all over Amazon, all over the world. It's available everywhere, whichever country you are in. Now, of course, if you have the opportunity to juice your beetroot and have it fresh, it is definitely what is more encouraged. But if you can't, you can still get the very same health benefits that I spoke about by getting dehydrated beetroot powder. A lot of people today make this at home. They get a little dehydrating machine and they make their dehydrated moringa powder, dehydrated spinach powder. They make dehydrated greens and beetroots and carrot and they just add it to smoothies on the go. So you don't have to, you know, juice fresh and then it gets spoiled with oxygen and all of that stuff. It's as simple as that. You know, these are little lifestyle changes that you can do. So the next workout you do, the next marathon run that you do, the 5K, 10K, whatever it is, start, start adding beetroot in the full form or beetroot juice, whatever suits you into your diet and you will understand how this works for your system. I'm still seeing questions about diabetics and diabetics. So if you joined in late, rewind the video, go to the start and listen to the video again because it is explained of how diabetics can have it. You know, when you ask about a food which is good for diabetes, you need to understand I don't know your sugar levels. I don't know what your pre-fasting is, your post-fasting. I don't know your lifestyle. So it may be excellent for you and it may be really bad for you depending on your lifestyle. So when you understand the concept of how food works in the human body, as a diabetic, you will be able to understand how to fit it into your diet. But most diabetics that we know today have everything, fruits, vegetables, carrots, beetroots. They're building their body with great health to basically combat diabetes, which is in type two cases, caused by poor lifestyle, it will be reversed by, with good lifestyle. So have a great day everyone, understand the importance of every vegetable, everything that nature has given us has some positive impact when used in the right way in the human body. It's not about just Googling healthy foods and putting it into your body, it's about synergy of foods. Foods have to work in synergy with one another for them to give you the maximum impact at a cellular level. Have a great day everyone, until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.